you guys it is me bro it is shiva it is vibra it is scorpion red tarot and i am back at it again back back at it again yes indeed we are here to find out what the word is around town and what the tea is in the streets yes lord you know we're here to get messy you guys we're here to get messy 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 baby it's a friday it's a friday why not we have nothing better else to do okay baby okay listen <laughs> I want to give a shout out to all my OGs. I want to give a shout out to all my newbies. I want to give a shout out to all of my babies for the coming through. Like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. You know we're going to do like we always do. We're going to give Father God uh, love, acknowledgement, and praise before we get into today's business. Before we get into the tea around town. Before we get into the word in the streets. So, Father God, we thank you so much for bringing us here collectively. We done had a wonderful week, Father God. We give you all praises and glory to you father god we done really had a successful and just like prosperous week man our family is looking good our bank account is looking good you know we're just trying to find out what the word is in the street we try to figure out what the people are saying about us you know in love and relationships and our personal uh, circumstances with people in our life just any information that you can give us father god to just give us insight about what people may be saying about us because you know how we are we like to give them something to talk about okay let's give them something to talk about so you know <laughs> Since we give them something to talk about every day because we slay, Father God, because we slay, <laughs> we do, okay? Because that's what you, look, that's how you set it up for us, okay? We just want to be prepared, you know, for the people that we got to spare later, you know. So, Father God, please give us the tea. Let us know what the word is around town. Let us know what the tea is in the streets. In Jesus' name, we thank you so much for all of the blessings, for all of the light. For all of the gifts that you've bestowed upon us. For all the wisdom, Father God. For all of the faith that we carry us through every day, Father God. We thank for the encouragement, Father God. We thank you for the endurance. We thank you for the family that loves us. We thank you for us just like waking up and looking in the mirror and loving in ourselves, Father God. Because no matter what anybody say, Father God, we it's, it, it's that love that you instilled in us and that faith. That keep us going every day. But we still need to be prepared, Father God. So please give us the guidance. And we thank you for everything that you do for us. And you do do us every day. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Okay? Listen. Thank you for being a friend. Dun, 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 dun. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. You're the power and a confidant. Thank you for being a friend. Father God, thank you for being a friend. Okay, Shalala, Jesus. Shalala. Thank you for being a friend in the name. All right. <clears throat> so let's, we're going to get into this to y'all. I'm going to get into these cards right here. We're going to get some general energy. We're going to get one card for general energy. Alright, so what's the tea out here in the streets? What's the word around town, Julie Brown? What is the word around town, Julie Brown? What's the word around town for my collective? What is the word around town for my collective? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, you look. <laughs> you got the birds. The birds is chirping. They definitely talking about you. All right, you in the news, you in the main headlines, all right, you in the main press, 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 press. Cardi don't need no more press. These hoes stay being press, okay? Press. What is they talking about? <laughs> I do want to see what this other card was. Horse, about freedom, about action. What you been doing, collective? What you been doing recently, Collective? They on your ass, boy. People been gossiping but trying to figure out what your next action move is. Because it's something about you looking good in the motherfucker out there, boy. Look at them legs, boy. Look at you. Ooh, you been working out, girl? Yes, baby. 
Look, they know an apex predator when they see. Look, they say she want to hunt. What she... <laughs> Collective, what you looking for? Collective is on the grind for something. They see that muscle, that muscular structure. They see you about to pounce on something. It's a lot of people all in your business. I feel like there are people that study you, Collective. They study your movements. They like how you hunt your prey. They like the type of prey. That is your prime selection. Because the way that you go about your kill, the way that you go about your hunt, the way that you go about, yeah, stalking your prey, everything. It don't even matter about, it's not a, a person. It could be your intent to get a job done on an idea or something that you sought out to do. It's the way that you pursue it. It's the way that you investigate it. It's the way that you're so intrigued by it that you just get up every day and you take action for it. And you don't feel held back by anything. You don't feel no level of limitation. You just get up and go and just, you know, and certain people, they are very much so intimidated by that because they feel held back. They feel limitations. They don't have that freedom to just get up and go and do what they want to do. Or I don't know if it's confidence. I don't know what it is. But your actions are speaking very loudly right now. They're speaking in volumes. Because your movement may not be towards these people. You're not headed towards that avenue. I don't feel like you even being that zip code anymore. The way things are going for you are definitely looking up. And people are talking about the things that you possibly could be doing. Okay? So that's what's going on right now. And what's under the deck? Oh my goodness. Under the deck is envy and protection. What I I literally just said that. There are some people that are <laughs> they are intimidated by you. Just the fact that you believe in yourself so strongly and you're so confident in yourself that you can move along honestly and truly. You don't need people to gallop to uh gallo behind you you don't need a following you don't need recognition from other people for you to get up and do what you need to do you don't need a reminder you don't need post-it notes all around the house to remind you to encourage you like <laughs> it's oh my goodness oh somebody oh my goodness all right so we find out what the general energy right now you definitely Feeling free, fine, and fancy. You are in very good shape. I don't know who this is, but your body is looking spectacular. Like you have perfect shape or perfect form for whatever it is that you're trying to do. You have perfect shape and perfect form. Especially like pictures and things. Like you would be having the perfect lighting really good angles I like how you accentuate your legs I want you to start doing your uh, pictures try to do pictures from the bottom up where it accentuates your legs and make your legs look longer where it's like the point of view from the bottom up at you you know what I'm saying and it's like you kind of bending down like uh, into the shit you know what I'm saying like into the shit you know I feel like someone is like a, a, a international superstar. Okay, they don't know who you are yet, but they're going to know who you are. Okay, so I'm playing with you. Okay, let's find out for real, for real. What is the word around town? Okay. 
What's Water Brown Tab? What's the tea in the streets? What they saying about the collective today? Since they got so much to say. What's going on? What are they saying particularly about the collective? What are they saying about the collective right now? What are people saying about the collective right now? That you're threatening. Like I told you, you're intimidating. <laughs> you're intimidating the shit out these motherfuckers. <laughs> that don't make no goddamn sense. <sighs> they feel like you have family issues, collective. Oh my goodness. Oh, what are they saying about the collective right now? Low IQ. Oh my goodness. They really trying you like that. Boss daddy. Stable. Rich. Business owner. That you looking for a boss daddy? Is that... Is this what... Creative muncher. No. This, okay, so this is this is how people feel. This is what people feel about you. Cause I was asking what do people say about you? Now again, take this how it resonates. But the way that I'm taking this, this is more of somebody that what is the number one? These are the people that are talking about you because of the action and the freedom that you make because of how much you believe in yourself and how confident you are of your ability to do what you need to do. So someone that felt like that about themselves, it low IQ is not going to come out on the table. Do you understand what I'm saying? So these are the people that feel this way about you. Okay? So they feel like you're threatening to them. They feel bothered. They're very intimidated by you. They have family issues that a lot of that comes from. I don't know, maybe they had a mother that didn't take a lot of attention with them. Or um, especially in regards to this low IQ that couldn't help them with like a lot of their academic studies. Or didn't care about if they went to school or not. Let them run the streets. Do whatever they wanted to do. Where it's like they barely passed high school. Definitely didn't go to college. So it's like, you know, on a financial aspect. Probably are not being able to get jobs that make a whole lot of money like that. And if it does make money, it's like possibly doing things that you may not want to do per se. You know what I'm saying? Like there, there's a lot of jobs that... They get paid. They get paid a lot of money, but it's not something that maybe you or I would do. You feel me? So, mm. it's the creativity muncher. Steals your ideas, copies your work, duplicates, feeds off of you. Emboss daddy. So this is giving me you guys somebody that. <clears throat> Number one, feeling threatened and intimidated by you because, number one, your skills, like I said, your belief about yourself and all of this stuff. This is someone that's trying to be your carbon copy, that's trying to mimic you in everything that you do, okay? Why am I hearing, um, I'm hearing that song, Who's That Girl? Y'all remember that movie with Madonna with Who's That Girl? Remember, she had the tiger running after her and all of that stuff like that? Dude, was, wasn't it that movie with Madonna and, and she had that white girl? Like, Madonna was like the street bitch or whatever. And it was like the white bitch or something. Or, or am I mixing that up with Desperately Seeking? Like, Seeking Susan. No, it's Seeking Susan. It's one of the movies with Madonna and she had the jacket on. But I'm mixing it up with her running away 
with the tiger on. Who is that girl? Because I loved fucking Madonna and those. I, uh, Madonna and Janet Jackson. Oh my God. Listen to me. Y'all have no understanding. But who's that girl in Seeking Susan? Desperately Seeking Susan. Those were my movies. But you know how on the Seeking Susan movie where the bitch had the white had the jacket with the little pyramid on it and shit on the back? It was like the little white, little preppy bitch wanted to be like Madonna like so bad. So she kind of did kind of like top copy her street ethics or street mannerisms and things like that. Maybe it may not be street per se, but it's something that you do. And it's some way that you carry yourself that this person that, that comes from a place of family issues, abandonment. Um, I want to say feel, feeling homeless in a sense of they have no comforting space to really call home like they they wouldn't want to go to their mother's house like if their mother is still living in there like they that they, that's not a place that they would call home they're definitely not going there it's like their parent would try to take advantage of them or it's just not a comfortable or happy space or something like that it's like this person does come from a fucked up ass home I feel like that is something that they like about you, especially because they have so much of a low IQ. And I feel like this person definitely has daddy issues. Pay attention to the type of people. Because why do I, I feel like this is someone that's around you. This is somebody. This is like a, this, I feel like this came out last time. This is like a friend or somebody that is like envious that like has daddy issues. Like they may try to date people that they think is going to pay their way through society or some shit like that but I really feel like they end up getting taken advantage by these motherfuckers like for real because the low IQ and these real boss daddy people that will really be about that shit oh they can smell that shit a while um, <laughs> they can smell it a mile away and please pay attention to this creative mantra because this person may be low-key stealing your ideas and I feel like they're doing it right in front of your face I, you, you may not be saying anything about it It may be a long way to go with this person. Like, low-key, it may be a long way to go with this person. A long way to go with this person. This is like a friend, a friend of me, a family member, a colleague, a co-worker. I don't know who the fuck this is, but this is definitely some of these people that's talking about you. Most definitely. Please tell me what their issue is with you. What What is this person's issue what is their issue with you? What is their issue with the collective? Running. I feel like they don't really want to face what their true issue is. I don't feel like their issue really is with you. I feel like their issue is more with their self. They really do have family issues. I feel like they admire you more than anything. Child services. Kids at risk of being taken or is about to. Reporting neglect or abuse. I feel like you are a good parent. Like you're everything that they're not. And they admire that about you. And that's why they try to copy and recreate a lot of things that you do. I feel like you are someone that is more action forward. Like if it's something that you need to do or make change on, like you do it. You don't sit there and just wait and just watch movies or watch inspirational videos. But you're not doing a damn thing about it personally yourself. Like you actually move forward and you do something about it. Like this person... They run from their problems. They run from the things that they need to face. They don't actually try to make action towards it. They go the opposite way. If it's something that they know that they shouldn't be doing, they don't, you know, like follow up on it and just like, you know, put the pressure on themselves and try not to give in to the temptation. They're definitely going to go the opposite way. They're not, they're, they're not going to move forward. 
the positive end. They're going to run the opposite way. So, now that we know what's um, the tea going on in situations with people that you may know personally, if there's anybody that the collective is dating, what's the tea going on with the people that the collective is dating? What's going on that the collective needs to know? Anybody that is in the collective's life that the collective had had been seeing, is seeing. What's going on in the background that the collective needs to know in regards to romance and love? What is the tea? What's going on? What's going on? What is going on? Tell me what is going on. What does the collective need to know in regards to love? And the people that they're dating or have dated. Okay. Two more cards. Okay. All right. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very much. All right. These cards are over. So, in regards to romance, we have someone that is looking you up. Hmm. All in your being there. Okay. Be careful what you be posting on social media. Say researching you, studying you, getting information on you. <laughs> you are the first thing that they're doing in the morning. As soon as they wake up in the morning and they're getting up, taking that piss, and they sit on the toilet, they got their phone in their hand, and it's on your goddamn page to see if you posted anything new. Creeping. Looking you up and creeping. And then the next one come up is fishing for comments. They're checking to see if people is fishing for comments, what people are saying all in your comment section. I don't necessarily think that they're in it that deep, but they're going behind your back and like got a like a stalker page or anything like that and posting. Like I don't see that. But they're checking and looking to see if there are people that are in your comment section fishing for comments. All on your line, all on your dick. They're curious about you. Day in, day out. They feel like you're a cyber bully. They feel like the shit that you be posting on your page is triggering. And you do it on purpose. And you be trying to be slick shady. And that you be cyber bullying them. It may be nothing that they can say about it. I don't know if you got them blocked. Or I don't know. In some type of way. They definitely do not feel comfortable with approaching you or saying anything to you about it. But they definitely, most definitely feel like you be throwing a hell of a lot of goddamn shade. And they feel like it's at them and you be putting fighting words up on the damn internet. Like for real, for real. It says you are being bullied online or they are, has suffered or has suffered from it, etc. Got rejected. And I feel like online rejection as well. They're haunted by this. Only thing they can do is be <laughs> sit back reflecting. <laughs> this is crazy. This is crazy, you guys. <laughs> Chasing. I feel like maybe this is something that they would want to do. But I don't feel like they even have an opportunity to do this, I do. I am curious. I would like a little bit more information on this. I just heard the horse is moving on. Like, <laughs> this is what this person is talking about. Whoever this person is, like, in this this love interest that's from your past, this is clearly, clearly someone that you've moved on from. All of this is saying this is someone that you moved on from. Because they feel like they're being attacked online by the things that you're doing or the things that you're posting or the things that you're saying. Maybe it's even just by your happiness or something. The fact that you just like have so much freedom and just moved on. I feel like this person is just like running their mouth talking so much shit about you to their friends and to anybody that will listen to them. Because I feel like they're really hurt inside. They feel rejected. They feel haunted by this shit. They are <laughs> curious about what you're doing. Because they had so much. This is someone that is reflected on how important you were to them. And how much 
insight they had on your life at a certain point like they knew about everything that was going on with you and everything that you were doing now they don't know nothing only thing they can do is like creep and look <sighs> give me some more tea what's going on with this situation please what's going on in love what does the collective need to know what's going on in the background with love what's the tea tell me about this person that feels cyber bully they're in their head, they're overthinking, they're stressed. Like I said, reflecting. What's this last card? Ugh, fell on the floor. This person is feeling lonely. Wow, this person is alone. Oh, ain't that something? Well, collective. This person is feeling lonely. Y'all done left them all. Listen, they married for money and they feel lonely. Listen, okay. Oh, Lord. Okay, now we're really getting to the tea. Wolves and sheep clothes. And listen, the person that they thought that they were marrying, that they uh, lucked up on financially, it's not actually what you think it is. It's not what it seems to be. This person isn't actually as interested in them as you thought that they were or they thought that they were this person is alone a lot of the time this person does not have a lot of uh i feel like this person is a, a very much so an a attention seeking individual this person is very much so in their head um about the connection that i want to say that they could have had with you that's why they're looking you up. It's something about this. It's like. Uh, why well, I want to say like you're their entertainment or something. Trying to figure out what you're doing in your day. It's like entertaining to them. I don't know if you're funny. Or like maybe you're very engaging online. Or something. But it like captures a moment of their day like a big moment of their day where they're like spending a lot of time trying to figure out what you're doing or being entertained by what you're doing or looking up what you're doing you know Whereas afterwards it's like they're reflecting a lot like damn you know like i used to be in the mix like i used to talk to this person like you know and now the only thing they can do is like creep and be haunted and feel rejected and if they was to approach you at all, they feel like they would be chasing after you. After you to just cyber bully them and carry the fuck out of them online. <laughs> what the fuck? It's like they would feel absolutely stupid. They feel like, come on. You feel me? So, and they're in a situation where it's like, okay, give me the tea about married for money and lonely. What's the tea in the streets? Tell me what's the tea. What's the word around town? You got the four cups. And then you got the you got the four cups and then you got the two of cups in the reverse. This person definitely feels rejected. They feel like this person isn't interested in them and at all. Bad match. No chemistry. It's like the chemistry is not it's like the chemistry is not the same, it's all off. I heard there's no intimacy between these two. I just heard all for shits and show. Like something is all for shits and show. It was nothing personal. It's no like emotional connection with this. It's like, you know, maybe someone was glamorized by the way something looked. But then once they got it, they realized it wasn't all of what they seemed. Or it wasn't the emotional bond that they thought that they were going to have. It's like now they don't want it at all. Oh, I just heard someone wants to throw it by the sight or by the look at someone. God, someone is just not attracted to someone at all. I feel it's oh someone someone was turned away. Um, I heard it because they they know that they want that someone wanted to use them for their money, and then something about. They lost their look appeal. Their looks. Their look appeal. 
I heard someone wanted to throw up at the sight of them. And someone lost their look appeal. I just keep hearing, ugh. Someone said, I'm upset that I have to look at you. Wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh, that's fucking crazy. Give me guidance about this creeping and fishing for comments. Cyberbullying. Like, I honestly feel like this looking up, creeping and fishing for comments and feeling like someone could be feeling attacked because they're looking at shit that they shouldn't be looking at. So, like, someone could be creeping and fishing for comments, trying to see what other people are saying about you and feeling attacked because people are saying the way they feel about how you are like oh you're so beautiful or I will eat you up or da 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 and it's like they just sitting over there just getting pissed off and like you're just feeding into it and you're putting hard eyes and you're just you know what I'm saying it's just like it could just fuck with their ego you know what I'm saying like hella bad you feel me so it's like you could be doing that or you, like I said, you literally could could have been online, like, posting some shady ass shit. You feel what I'm saying? And they being curious about you because they feeling haunted <laughs> and rejected. And they were thinking about chasing after you. But then they looked online and they see you carrying them like some suck ass motherfucking bitch. And they're like, no, nah, let me leave this hoe alone because this bitch over here talking shit. She talking cash shit. Now they just sit back reflecting, being all in their damn head, thinking about everything that you just said about them online, like carrying. I don't know who the fuck this is, but you was carrying. I don't know, posting them little songs like, fuck these niggas and they fuck these niggas. You know what I'm saying? Fuck my baby daddy. Fuck my baby daddy, okay? Bow, 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 bow. Is that booty cheeks? I don't know. I don't know what the fuck I was playing. Fuck my baby daddy. I don't <laughs> Give me guidance about this creeping. Look at you official for comments. The night is swords in the reverse. I'm trying to tell you, like, this shit have them mad. Like, they really want to cuss you out and give you a tongue lashing someone's very very upset like honestly like if they was to have seen you around the same time that all of this shit was going on i feel like shit could have possibly calmed down right now but a little bit i really feel like this person is still very very upset about some shit that you might have posted online and said online or something that you was doing online and someone is extremely extremely upset about it like i want to say like you could have you could have developed the enemy out of this person, but this motherfucker love you so bad, man. Do you feel me? And that's and that's the shit that make them so angry because it's like how upset they are at you right now. It's like, bitch, like you really motherfucking just moved on. Like the fuck is wrong with you? Nothing, bitch. I don't want to fuck with you no more. You're angry. Weird ass. Bitch, get the fuck on. Don't nobody got time for this weird ass shit. Like, only time a motherfucker is all curious and feeling rejected and haunted by you and things is because they know that they did something wrong. Like, get the hell out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, to, uh, Father, tell me what the, this person did to the collective. The, why, why the collective rejected them. Why did the collective reject this person? Why did the collective reject this person? The king of swords in the reverse. This person could have been emotionally abusive to the collective. Lying. Cheating. Manipulative. This person could have been physically abusive on the low. But I don't think you've seen it out of this person yet. I want to say right now this person is mad as a motherfucker. I... If you was around this person, and especially if this person would have been drinking a lot. This person's around alcohol. And the way this person feel right now about you, low-key, it would not be a good situation. Because this person feels rejected. This person's ego has been bruised. And I feel like you could have called this person out for their bullshit and they wronged on 
instead of this person standing up and speaking to you and trying to make it a balanced situation, they'd rather run because they had coward or they argue with you and try to turn the shit around on you and make it seem like this was your situation, something that you caused, and this was them being a victim to, you know, that, no, listen, don't nobody got time for that shit. I feel like you might have blocked the situation. You you know you, you don't have nothing to say to this person at all. That's why they feel rejected. Next, moved on, because you realize that this person isn't honorable. You can't believe nothing that this person says. Has no integrity. <laughs> I just heard has no reaction. Like has nothing to say. It's like this person like has nothing to say. So could you have nothing to say? I'm going to make sure you have nothing to say. You could have blocked this person out completely. Block this person out completely. I forgot about this person over here with these family issues and shit like that. Father God, please tell me what's going on. Please give us advice. Give the perspective advice about what to do with this um, person that feels threatened by the collective. With this low IQ. They got family issues. That need to pay more attention on taking care of their kids and, try to, and stop trying to steal your ideas and running from the four swords and the Listen, I feel like you need to give this person a break. You've been teeter tottering collective um, back and forth in between because I feel like this person that you're dealing with has abandoned issues. I feel like you dealt with this person for a long time this could be your friend this could be someone that you've been um i feel like you've had an estrangement with them before like this is not the first time that this person has done something to you or you felt like that you needed to separate yourself from this person i feel like there's some level of toxic abuse and control and like have you ever been around someone where it's like I need a break from you I need to let this go because I just need some time to heal and take care of myself and they still trying to force their self on you like no we're going to fix this no I'm telling you I need some fucking time to myself like leave me the fuck alone and it's like it's like someone won't let you heal someone won't allow you to process a separation and just give yourself a time for yourself and the thing that tripped me out with this person is like they feel so threatened by you but they want you so close because they need to steal ideas from you it's like they hate you but they love you a lot and that's why it's like no it's something where it's like if they've done it once they've do it a they do it twice, they'll do it a third time again. This person is constantly running from themselves and doing what they need to do to create change in their life. They're going to hurt everybody around them until they figure out how to fix themselves. And I feel like you're running from them, honestly. You're trying to run from them. I feel like... <laughs> I feel like you, you feel like you're an endangered species by your own. And you need to get away from people like this is because they're, they're, they're trying to mimic you in such a way where it's like there'll be no originals left. Do you feel what I'm saying? They're going to water this shit down. It's like they're going to they gonna fuck it up. They're going to fuck it up. I, need, I think you need to keep your originality to yourself. You need to be peaceful. You need to be around people who gonna create, who gonna create with you, and gonna help you do what you need to do. You don't need to be around people that are intimidated, threatened, really bothered by you, but low key a fan. They want to be you so fucking bad that they hate you. Like get the fuck out of here with your Selena fucking. Get the the fuck out of here. All right. Let's find out. Let's really find out what's going on in love. What's the tea? What's going on in love with the collective? Tell me what's going on with my collective in love. Give me some guidance. 
Mm. What's going on in the bed? Let me love you now. Okay, let me find out who's trying to love the collective down. Because we ain't got time for all of this bullshit that's going on. You can definitely tell us the tea. All right? Tell me about the word around now. About who's trying to get down. Miss Julie Brown. Okay? Can you please tell me the intentions of anybody in a romantic space with the collective? What's the word around town? What's the team in the Can you tell me what the intentions of the people in the collective's romantic space? What are intentions of the people in the collective's romantic space? What are, oh, it said watch out. Oh, God. You got watch out. Oh, fuck. What else is going on? What's going on in the romantic space? You got breakup. Lord Jesus, what is the fuck is going on, collective? Need an emotional support. Who the fuck is going to need emotional support? The fuck? Not the collective? Patience. What the fuck? Oh, Lord. You need patience for the soulmate connection, y'all. Y'all, collective, y'all gonna need patience for the soulmate connection. It's coming. It just ain't gonna be this one. Collective, I think y'all need to pay attention with this one here. Whoever you've been dating, whoever you've been talking to, whoever's in your romantic stratosphere, who's ever in your romantic stratosphere, listen, they don't need to be here, baby. You need to break up and get the fuck on or uh, uh, rid of them. It's something not right about this situation. I feel like you've been looking within yourself. I don't, I don't feel like you've been talking to many people about this, but you've been trying to find some type of emotional support or trying to find some answers the way you feel about something. Something ain't right. Something's not right here. Something's not right here. And I, 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 I want to know why. Let's get into my Game of Thrones deck. Tell me what's going on. What's going on in love spectrum? In my collective. What's the word around town? What's the tea in the streets? What's this watch out, break up, emotional support, and patience? I just heard everything going to come to you in a second. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Hierophant. I feel like pay attention to your teaching. Pay attention to your foundations and you know who you are. And your, like, religious structure. I feel like you're someone that believes in marriage. You believe in commitment. You believe in the safekeeping of the home. If the people that you're around... They really don't want these things. And they don't have the same values in you. I feel like you really do need to get rid of them and find something better to do with yourself and your time. There's better things that you can do with yourself and your time. Off the break, the first card that I put out was the tower in the reverse. Like, this is something that you can avoid. This is something that you can avoid altogether. And you don't even have to... Feel like later on you're having to go seek emotional support from other people. You're going to have to tell people, invent the people about the way that you're going to have to take care of things and the things that you're going to have to do. And yeah, I'm not talking to this person anymore. And this person did this and I ain't dealing with this. And I'm going to have to break up with this individual because it's seven of spirits. Because I don't feel like being caught off guard anymore with no more bullshit. Like. The seven of swords, I mean, the seven of spirits in the reverse is like being unprepared for an attack. Being unprepared, being caught off guard, being swept up off your feet and the wind knocked up out your chest. Do you feel what I'm saying? Gossip, slander, 
manipulation, finding out like little secrets, like little breadcrumbs, like you know. I feel like with the star and the watch out, like you know what you've been praying for, and this is not it. When God sends you a sign, pay attention to it, my dear. You're way more gifted than you give yourself credit for. It's certain blessings with this Ace of Spares that's being held back because you're not around the right people. I've been telling y'all this for the longest time. I feel like you need to slow down and be patient. Everybody ain't everybody. You feel me? Everybody is not everybody that you think that they should be in your life. Everybody is not everybody that you should be making movements with. Everybody is not everybody that you be calling a friend. Everybody is not everybody that you think is your family. It's not your family, baby. You feel me? I don't give a damn how thick the blood is, baby. You got to have patience with yourself. You got to know what you know. You got to understand your principles, your values, and your faith. Remember everything that you pray for. Remember your talent. Remember your skills. Remember your gifts. Watch out. It, 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 it. I feel like this person is going to betray you later. And I don't want you to get hurt if having to reach out to other people for emotional support for something that you can completely avoid. You can completely avoid it. You can completely avoid it. And this is not gonna it's not gonna take off. It's not gonna go anywhere. Especially no, with this in love? No. Let's find out what this person's um sexual intentions are. Towards you know, this person's sexual intentions towards the collective, and then we're going to wrap this up. And then I will see you guys next Friday. But next Friday, we will be talking about what your wedding day will look like and who you will be marrying. Okay, all right. I got a whole bunch of new series, you guys. So, y'all get into all of them, get in where you fit in, get in where you fit in. Especially for my divine friends. I hope, I hope to see you guys in the level up. Readings. And my um, manifesting money. Monday readings. You know, so, you know, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff. Please tell me what this person's sexual intentions are towards the collective. What's this person's sexual intentions towards the collective? What does it say? Senses. Listen. Feel to what your body needs and wants. Listen to what your body needs. Snatched away. I'm going to steal you away from them. Oh. Okay. Good girl. Innocent looks. Oh, God. It says, good girl, innocent looks. I didn't think you were a freak. Okay, they didn't think you would. You had it like that in the bed like that. They didn't think you was going to throw that pussy back like that. It says, get ready, I'm coming. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Collective. <laughs> I feel like you threw this motherfucker off guard. In the bed sexually, bitch. You had this motherfucker busting multiple rounds, okay? You deserve a rounds tonight. Y'all remember that on Vine? You deserve a rounds tonight. Y'all shut the fuck up out here. Listen, it's something about your touch. It, like, intensified, like... Their senses, it make their hair stand up on their back. Yes. Listen, feel to what your body needs and wants. I don't know if you give massages. 
the way you rub, the way you fit. It like literally makes the hair stand up on their back. What does it say? I will instruct you. Okay. On the hush. Ain't no one's business. So whatever you got going on with this person, it's a secret. And they want to snatch you away from someone. So collective, this person uh, thinks you're involved with someone else. And if you are involved, they're going to take you from this person. They're going to instruct you what to do or how to be sneaky and everything. Or this person can be involved with someone else and they're going to instruct you about how to move around the situation. All right, we got here drinks. Going out for drinks, one thing leads to another. So you can end up being sexually involved with this person by just innocently going out for drinks. In. But it was the setup for this kill. This person knew exactly what they were going to be doing. And this is the last card. It says, marinate. Don't shower, sleep in it. Oh my God. And it already says, get ready, I'm coming. Y'all better watch out for pregnancy. I'm sorry. I got one more call for y'all. What does it say? Cravings. They're craving you. You've been craving them too. So I feel like this is definitely someone that you've been sexually intimate, you guys. This is definitely someone that you've been sexually intimate with. What's under the deck? Kiss and tell. I've been spilling the tea. They've been telling people about you too. Okay. So I feel like overall their whole sexual intentions and desire for you is number one to take you away from somebody else. I don't know if this is someone new, you guys. If this is someone new that you're with. And they know about this person right here in the background that you ain't got nothing to do with. This person right here wanted to take you away from them. They wanted to snatch you away. I feel like while you was on the hush. Ooh. I feel like while you was dealing with this bullshit, with this breakup, with this person here. Like this person could be trying to snatch you away from this other idiotic bullshit over here that you need to be getting away from. Or... Y'all let me know how this is working for y'all. Because I'm honestly getting. It's somebody that y'all need to get away from. I feel like this is a three layered story you guys. I feel like this is. Is this a three layer uh, uh, taco dip? Is this a three layer taco dip? Y'all. Is this a three layer dip? Listen. I feel like. In the past, the person from the past is creeping, stalking, feeling haunted, all of that bullshit. I feel like currently you're talking to someone that you need to break up with because it's a red flag and all of that bullshit right now. Either that person that you're talking to now that is... The red flag that you need to break up with. Either this person is the red flag and you need to break up with them. Because they were trying to infiltrate. And snatch you away. When you were dealing with this idiot. So this was somebody that was trying to be like a side nigga. Or a side bitch. While you was dealing and getting out of the toxic situation. I feel like this person is craving you. I feel like one thing led to another. Y'all went out for drinks. You said you wasn't going to do it. It was just going to be some innocent shit. And nah, yeah. It was a setup for a kill. I feel like this person could have known that you was with somebody else. And they were completely fine with being a secret. And this person is craving you. Either or collective, the person that you need to that you're dealing with right now, you need to break up with them because they're craving you and all of this stuff like that. But the whole marinade in it and all of this stuff and and it, and it 
I don't know. You may be snatching them away. And shit is on the hush. It's a... Y'all let me know how this is resonating with y'all. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. I feel like this could be a three layer dip. 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 I feel like someone is a it's 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 a willing side nigga. Someone's a willing side nigga. And they trying to steal you away from somebody. And they done had that pun side. They done had that pun side. And I said, don't push me out of it, girl. Just lay back and just look. Just marinate in the pussy. Me marinate in it. Me marinate in this. Listen, I'm getting ready to come. Don't shower. Sleep in this. Let me. Just let me. You just need to feel this dick throbbing up in you real quick. And just. Let's go to sleep. Just don't even move. Just look, you a good girl. I didn't think that you was gonna let me just bang out like that. I just ooh, it's it's who you done did this to, collective. I'ma instruct you. If this shit gonna be on that hush, I'ma let you know what we need to do. Cause I need to satisfy myself and I need to save it this moment. Cause I'm coming back again. This ain't gonna be the last time. So, y'all, collective, y'all, cause I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I gotta wrap this up, y'all. I really do. Y'all let me know down in the comments. I feel like this is a three day layer dip, don't trip. This is a three layer dip, don't trip, y'all. We got somebody from y'all past that is tripping, that is miserable, cause they can't do shit but look at you and get mad at the shit that they see people talking in your comments. There's someone that you currently dating with and talking to that ain't shit that you need to leave the fuck alone. And you got somebody right now on top of them trying to pull you the fuck away from them. And they're willing to side nigga, cause they know that the nigga that you talking to ain't shit cause it ain't them. Cause it ain't them. Thank you for being a friend. Listen, y'all. This has been y'all's reading. I'm about to get the fuck up out of here. All right? This is a three-layer dip. Don't trip. I'm out. Peace. Y'all hit that like button. Y'all make sure that y'all like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.